In this episode, I'm going to talk about hyperpersonalization using Salesforce Interaction Studio. So, how is personalization done right now and where is it going with marketing? You might know this from two perspectives, so from sending marketing uh, communication out of your position, maybe in marketing of your company. Um, but you might also know it as a customer receiving communication from companies. So if you receive communication that doesn't seem to be tailored to your uh, specific needs, so uh, a batch and blast newsletter where you get a lot of information that seems to be sent to everyone that subscribed to a newsletter of a company. Um, that's not very intelligent and most of the personalization present there uh, might be a personalized salutation. So bringing that to another level is using intelligent segments. So a lot of companies right now do segmentations within their uh, customer base where they select based on demographics or um, maybe your favorite store or where you live. So if you receive communication uh, that is a little bit more tailored to your specific needs or you, to your specific situation, um, then you might be uh, segmented by that uh, marketing department. But you might also see some parts of the newsletter that don't fit your individual situation, like um, a product being advertised that you just recently bought. So that's the state where most companies are right now. So either sending batch and blast emails to the entire customer base or using uh, segments to narrow down um, the, the recipients a bit. But where are we going now and what I'm going to talk about today um, is real-time uh, personalization that really focuses on an individual. So in our use case we might um, send individualized communication to Sandra um, and we don't just segment based on her living in San Francisco. So we know where she is in the customer journey, what she recently bought from us uh, and if there's um, service cases going on at the moment for example. So that's where marketing is, um, is going towards and what most uh, larger companies are looking in right now. So what are the goals of personalization and why even bother doing so? Um, usually you have two main goals when doing personalized communication. So one is optimizing the customer experience for your customer and the other one is presenting a consistent customer journey across departments. So when setting such goals, most companies just have their own goals in mind, but does it fit to the customer? So luckily Salesforce Research did some, uh, did some digging and did some um, investigation and found out that more than 80% of customers um, think that the customer experience is as important as uh, products and services uh, a company provides. And most of them are even um, yeah, likely to, to pay more if the experience is great. And something also a large share of customers expects is that they, um, that they have a consistent customer journey across all the departments they are interacting with. Um, so just like they have um, a single person responsible for everything uh, they do with your company. Uh, no matter if it's marketing communication, if it's service representative or if they are buying something in your store. So keeping everything consistent is definitely something uh, you should invest in and uh, make possible for your customers. So how is that possible and how can you do that uh, on a scale uh, where you don't uh, need to invest that much manual effort and uh, have that many employees? So using Interaction Studio you can do that and everything that's done is split within three phases. So first of all you need to listen to your customers and to um, yeah, sense the behavior of them 
track the data so that you can um, yeah, understand what they uh, really want to do, which is the second phase. And the third one is acting on that knowledge that you've gained. So in the listen phase, you can incorporate um, different channels. So uh, the easiest uh, is tracking web behavior. So what's special about Interaction Studio here is that it's not only tracked what items are visited, uh, what categories are visited, but also the time spent looking at these different pages. Um, but what's also being tracked is conversion behavior, um, behavior within your company's apps, um, as well as sales and service behavior um, that is handled by your um, sales reps and service reps. But um, with Interaction Studio, you have the flexibility to incorporate different channels. So also the in-store behavior can be tracked and can be used to personalize that experience. And data that is already um, commonly used for personalization, um, but only within that channel uh, is email uh, engagement, for example. So with the understand phase, where we really um, dig into that data and understand the situation of a customer. Um, that's where we need uh, a little bit of help to automate that process. Because collecting data largely is already automated, but using and understanding the data uh, isn't. So as you can see in the middle of the slide, we have uh, a little bit help here from Einstein, the artificial intelligence used by Salesforce. So that's where um, everything is crunched, the numbers are crunched, and we get um, insights in real time. And not only the insights are present in real time, also um, the actions we can, we can take on it. Um, so in real time, we can also personalize uh, all the channels that we are collecting data from. So you can deliver an individualized experience on the web channel within apps, um, also, you can present information to your sales and service reps um, that are specific to your customers' needs. What's also possible is personalizing um, marketing communication with next best promotions, um, next best campaigns. And um, to also get that to the offline channel, uh, you can um, present that data to, to your sales reps at the point of sales uh, systems. So you can show them the next best uh, campaigns, the next best offers they can present and the best conversations they can have with your customers. So as this uh, is a little bit theoretical, I'm going to uh, dig into an example together with you. So if we want to um, let's say, enhance the experience that customers have um, with a click and collect process. Um, we have two important persons in our example. One is Christian, our uh, shop assistant, and his goal is to uh, understand his customers better and to really utilize the sales opportunities um, that come with knowing your customers. And uh, Sandra is our customer in this example, and she loves to uh, select everything in the online store and then to yeah, pick it up in the store uh, during her lunch break. So she doesn't spend that much time in the store, um, but nonetheless, she, she likes to have um, a great customer experience and um, yeah, a great service by Christian in the store. So how does it look with the, um, the channels that we now have a look at? So um, we track the data on the, the online store where Sandra is selecting the products and looking at, uh, at what she can buy and what's of interest for her. Uh, and we analyze that data, utilize it in our marketing communication as well as presenting it to Christian uh, so he is able to deliver uh, the best experience possible to Sandra in the store. So in our customer journey, um, we, yeah, we have a lot of touch points 
and most of these touch points uh, interact with data or collect data uh, that's also feed it to, um, to Interaction Studio. So when Sandra um, interacts with our website, with our store, we can already use the data that we have of her. So in that example, we show her uh, a hero image and a campaign specifically tailored to women who are um, interested in active sports and outdoor sports. Um, but Sandra just now wants to buy new running shoes, so she goes through the catalog to the through the um, products, the, the categories, and uh, has a look at one specific shoe that she's uh, interested in. She then, um, yeah, looks at the pictures, selects the size, then uh, also has a look at the uh, product details, the description, and we can also see that there is some recommendations based on uh, everything that we know about her. Um, but Sandra is already sure that she wants to have that, um, that shoe, so she selects to buy it uh, at the store um, using click and collect. So now that we know a little bit more about Sandra um, and have every, everything ready, um, we send her a notification that everything can be picked up at the store. So when Sandra then goes to the store to pick it, pick it up, um, Christian um, sees the, uh, the reservation number um, and knows that the, the product is here. But he wants to deliver a better experience for Sandra. So what he, he can do is directly look into her profile in Interaction Studio. So uh, he can see everything that she looked at, um, what she's uh, seen on the, on the website, every interaction, and also what personalized experience has already been delivered. So he sees that she, um, that she saw some recommendations, that there was a personalized experience uh, on, on, the, uh, on the website with the hero Im image that was specifically tailored to um, to her segment. But what he can also do is dig into the data to see um, what categories are uh, of interest for her, what uh, specific um, yeah, product details are uh, relevant and he can also narrow it down by looking at um, the views, the time spent viewing uh, specific um, articles uh, as well as um, when it comes to purchases, what's uh, most important to Sandra. But that would take up a lot of time and Christian can't, uh, can't investigate all that on his own um, because Sandra doesn't want to wait that long. So what we can do is deliver um, yeah, pre-selected information to Christian or um, it's not selected by us, in fact it's um, done by, uh, by artificial intelligence, so by using Salesforce Einstein. So in our example we um, use the Sales and Service Cloud as, um, as an interface that's shown to Christian and um, he then sees all the information about Sandra uh, and has the possibility to then uh, go to the Interaction Studio tab where he can see um, product recommendations as well as campaign recommendations for Sandra. So now he knows that uh, she also looked at, uh, at hiking gear in the past and can also uh, talk to her about those products, give more information uh, on that and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, can, can deliver the experience that Sandra um, desires in the store. Um, but Sandra doesn't have a lot of time, so she doesn't decide to, um, to buy those articles now that Christian recommended. Um, but there is also a recommended campaign for her, so Christian um, decides to, to send her further information um, with just the click of a button. So Sandra then gets information um, based on her purchase and also um, based on everything that Christian talked to her. So um, the next email that she receives um, is yeah, feeling like it's specifically tailored to her by Christian, but it wasn't Christian, it was um, the Interaction Studio and everything 
that um, yeah that Einstein does for us. So the newsletter has the same promotion that Christian uh, talked um, to her about, as well as the products that he recommended. So as you can see, using Interaction Studio, um, we automatically or near automatically delivered a great and personalized user experience to Sandra and Christian also had the possibility to do his job in um, yeah, a great and easy way. So if you aren't uh, already um, yeah, keen to try out Interaction Studio and have personalization, um, those metrics might be uh, something that uh, can further motivate you to use hyperpersonalization. So these metrics are provided by Salesforce, so they are based on a lot of Interaction Studio projects, um, so there is a, a really good um, database behind that. So it's possible to increase conversions and customer ret retention by about 20% um, while also having a higher uh, offer redemption. So why are these offers uh, redeemed a lot more often? Um, that's because they are tailored to the specific needs of a customer. Uh, so that's, that's a great thing um, to achieve here um, because customers uh, love offers and uh, if, if the redemption is even higher with personalized ones, uh, that's also great for your customer experience. And even though you're increasing a lot of these metrics, uh, the cost to serve a customer can also be reduced uh, at the same time. So why using Salesforce Interaction Studio as your hyper-personalization um, toolbox? Um, first of all, if you're already using tools within the Salesforce platform, um, it's easy to integrate. So you have a seamless integration to, um, to different streams um, that are used by your employees, so sales, service, and marketing can seamlessly be, be integrated. Um, what you can do is having personalized offers, personalized um, yeah, information in real time, and everything based on um, artificial intelligence, so Salesforce Einstein. And um, that isn't just something uh, that we, yeah, we think is great, but there's also some, uh, some data behind that. So uh, in Gartner's Magic Quadrant for personalization engines, um, Interaction Studio has been um, named a leader for the third time in a row. Um, so it's, um, it's really a great product on the market that you can use to deliver personalized experiences. So I hope I uh, could give you a good overview about hyper-personalization, what it is and how it can be done using Interaction Studio. If you uh, like to know more about that topic, uh, please let me know. Um, also check out the information that's available on my blog markers.codes and feel free to uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter. So if you liked that um, presentation, Please also like the video and if you want to uh, stay up to date and get more information about Marketing Cloud, please also subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.